Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd and I'm Todd. So in the United States on AM rock stations and AM soul stations we didn't hit, know anything about reggae music. It was not something that was played on the radio. Um, now even in the stores you know when I went to buy records I don't ever remember seeing a reggae record. Now there might have been a section for it or it might have been in world music something like that but in the standard rock area and soul area there was there was no reggae none that i can remember until 1969 in 1969 desmond decker released israelites and it climbed the charts it was played constantly on the radio and it got to number nine on billboard's top 100. now the thing about it was didn't know it was reggae just thought it was another style of rock and roll because the styles in the 60s were constantly changing and there was new sounds coming out all the time so i just figured okay this is another style of rock and roll not realizing it was reggae or even closer to ska so uh it, it was a major hit like i said uh got in the top 10 and then two years later another song came out this time it was called Double Barrel, and it was by Dave and Ansel Collins. Dave wasn't a Collins, Dave was Dave Barker. And they uh, recorded reggae music, and this was one of their reggae songs. And it was released on Big Tree Records in the United States, which just was a generic label. I mean, it was a, a label like any other label that had all kinds of different artists on it. And... Um, it had a huge funk sound to it. I mean, the bass in this thing really was a driving bass, but it wasn't your ta your standard soul or funk bass. It had a little different beat to it. You know, it, it, it had just a little jump beat to it. And this was reggae. Again, though, I didn't know any difference. I just thought this was a cool song. This was a... Gr under. I mean, it was kind of neat because he starts out the song, I am... The Magnificent. And then he starts talking throughout this whole song with this driving bass and some other instrumentation. And I just thought it was just a cool, cool song. Not realizing it too was reggae. Well, with the start of those two songs, Israelites and Double Barrel, we started to see more and more reggae get onto the the charts, the regular uh, rock rock charts so um with that double barrel got to number 22 on billboard's top 100 but locally they played it on the radio all the time and on wls in chicago on their own chart it got to number four so regionally we bought a lot of that single because i bought a copy and i played it all the time i loved double barrel i thought it was just a great great song so with that we're going to listen to Dave and Ansel Collins do Double Barrel. And listen to the bass line in this thing. It is, it is just a great bouncing bass. And the video for this is, is pretty cool too. Um, I, I had to search quite a while uh, to find a, a kind of neat video because there are a lot of uh, videos on YouTube for Double Barrel. Unfortunately, most of them are kind of like a picture or you know something that's not even related to the song. This one fits the song perfectly and i'm so happy i found it here we go double barrel by dave and ansel collins i am the magnificent i'm back with the shack of a soul boss most tolerant stormy sound of soul i am w-o-o-o Get on. 
Dot, thank you for making that video. <laughs> that is such a cool video. Um, when I'm watching, then they got the black and white guy, um, little stick figure doing the dance in the beginning. <laughs> reminds me of, of madness. And, and when they're walking down the line, <laughs> reminds me of madness. Um, just, just a great, great video. But a dynamite song. Just love this song. The first time I heard it on the radio, I went, I got to have that. I got to have that single. That is just tremendous and i played that thing over and over and over just a great song you know i am the magnificent w o o o just just great love it so i hope you love it as much as i love it if you do hit that like button below that'd be really cool would really appreciate that um give me a lifelong story of how this song affected you put that in the comments below that'd be really awesome and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel because we're having fun on this channel we're having lots of fun hit that subscribe button and if you ring the bell you'll get updates on my latest videos with that this has just been a wonderful day did some cool videos i did this david and some collins did a james brown just had a lot of fun today i hope you had a lot of fun watching them and if you did keep that smile on your face because smiles are so cool with that peace out baby <laughs>